60 years ago, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metropolitan Phoenix began with two small clubhouses and the idea that all children should have a safe place to learn and grow. That was yesterday. Today, a total of 10 clubhouses in the Central and West Valley serve more than 31,000 youth in grades K through 12 who face difficult and challenging lives. And tomorrow, even more children in need will have a place to go when three new clubhouses are built in underserved communities around the valley. This ambitious expansion plan is possible because of the largest fundraising campaign ever undertaken in the 60-year history of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metropolitan Phoenix. The $26 million drive includes the three new state-of-the-art clubhouses placed where there was the most demand and greatest need for services. Our clubs are located in the tougher neighborhoods of town. I mean, that's exactly where we want to grow. Um, neighborhoods where the kids aren't offered opportunities, um, underserved neighborhoods, there aren't any parks. Um, there are more liquor stores than there are libraries in those neighborhoods. And for the first time, the three new clubhouses will be located on school property. Agreements between school districts and the Boys and Girls Clubs allow them to partner and provide land on which to build the 24,000 square foot centers nearer to the students. In Glendale, a future Boys and Girls Clubhouse will share land with Smith Elementary School. Not too far from downtown Phoenix, another new clubhouse will be located on the property of Isaac Middle School. And in North Phoenix, a third new clubhouse will sit between Palomino 1 and Palomino 2 schools. All the sites were chosen after careful planning and consideration by community leaders to bring life-changing programs and services to areas that could not afford them. These areas were chosen carefully by, by the Boys and Girls Club, areas that were underserved by public facilities that could provide educational, recreational, mentoring and security opportunities. There really is no place for the young people to get together to study, to play, to learn life skills, to really be um, together under the supervision of people whose sole mission it is, is to empower them. In Glendale, mariachis heralded the groundbreaking of the newest Boys and Girls Club at Smith Elementary School on 63rd Avenue in Maryland. Students from each grade level who won an essay or artwork contest shoveled dirt to signal the start of construction. Student council members led the program and recognized community leaders who made the new Glendale Center possible, including Jerry Moyes of the Phoenix Coyotes. And Glendale City Manager Ed Beasley echoed their praise. There's a lot of young people in this area. There's a great need, and this type of facility has been needed for some period of time. So the partnership between the Boys and Girls Club and the various entities that have been involved is really a dream come true for not only the community, but also for the children. Irizima Ramirez, a fifth grader at Smith Elementary School, knows her mom won't have to worry about what she does after school when the new Glendale Boys and Girls Club opens next year. The Boys and Girls Club might be fun that I like going to the Boys and Girls Club because we can like do our homework and go to the gym and play games. Not too far from downtown Phoenix, the Isaac Middle School award-winning band marked time for the groundbreaking of the new Jerry Colangelo Clubhouse. Students presented colorful handmade tiles to be used in the new Boys and Girls Club going in near their school. And then it was time to shovel some dirt for the ceremonial groundbreaking. The superintendent of the Isaac School District believes the new Jerry Colangelo branch will be an asset to the mostly working poor community. Can't open soon enough. Uh, the, the community is thrilled. Uh, there's a great deal of excitement, great deal of passion. Uh, and we are really looking forward to making this the best Boys and Girls Club in Metropolitan Phoenix. Fourth grader Lorenzo Garay will have a safe place to go after school and won't have to wait for his mom to get off from work once the Jerry Colangelo Clubhouse is built. My mom doesn't have to worry about us because we'll be in a safe place. <laughs> In North Phoenix, folkloric dancers celebrated the groundbreaking of the Ropes and Family Clubhouse at 32nd Street and Greenway between Palomino 1 and Palomino 2 Elementary Schools. 
Students held signs marking the places for future buildings and also formed an outline of the perimeter of the soon-to-be clubhouse. Then, with shovels in hand, they broke ground for the start of what will be a much-needed center. The principals of the two schools, which will share their campus with the new Ropes and Family Clubhouse, say it can't be built fast enough. A Boys and Girls Club is like a blessing. It's like something that fell from heaven. And so we're just looking at this as something that is going to be a great, great, great uh, asset to our schools. As we get more of those types of resources, these groups become smaller. Gang violence is lowered. Crime is lowered. And the Boys and Girls Club will be instrumental in terms of helping us get those percentages down. Palomino fifth grader Kevin Silva won't have to go home alone after school while his mom works once the new ropes and family clubhouse is finished. They'll have computer labs, so when I have a lot of homework, I just go over there and do my homework there. They have pool tables, air hockey, bumper ball, and they have video games. Daniel Stanton is proof of the positive influence the Boys and Girls Clubs have on children. Daniel now works on the staff at the same neighborhood Boys and Girls Club branch he attended as a child. He's hoping he can have as much impact on the children as the Boys and Girls Club had on him. Who knows what, what I could have gotten into, you know, being home alone and stuff. Uh, I don't know, I just think that drugs are really all over the neighborhood that I grew up in and stuff like that. and. Just who knows, there's no telling what, what could have happened if I didn't have the Boys and Girls Club. Anthony Arianas is another successful alumni who credits the Boys and Girls Clubs for taking him from drugs to becoming an outstanding citizen and businessman. What I'm really looking forward to doing is telling people how much it helped me and letting them know that there's other kids out there that need help, you know? There's other kids out there that have dreams, aspirations, goals, but don't have the direction. And the club is what it gave it to me, and if it could give it to me, then it's going to give it to them. It changes lives. It saves lives. Research proves again from our alumni that they have said that it truly has changed and saved their lives. After 60 years of caring for children, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metropolitan Phoenix have impacted thousands of children's lives. With that proud history, the future looks just as promising as more centers open their doors to give children a safe and caring place to go. The communities around the clubs are safer. The kids are happier. Um, they do better in school. Research proves that our kids are happier and have better report cards and grades, and they stay in school longer if they're affiliated with the Boys and Girls Clubs.